Breaking news, a massive category for hurricane is heading straight for the East Coast. More than one million people have been told to evacuate. Millions of Americans are now bracing for this storm. Bring catastrophic flooding with more than three feet of rain. On average, it costs a million dollars to evacuate a mile of coastline. So the tighter you have that forecast, the fewer people are evacuating. I mean, the forecast is between 25 or 30 percent more accurate with our data. It kind of helps narrow that cone of uncertainty down exactly where the storm is going to hit. Uh, if we had not been providing that information, can you just imagine how many more lives would have been lost? From a pilot perspective, flying into hurricane goes against everything that we are trained, which is avoid weather, avoid weather, avoid weather. You don't really know what to expect, because every single storm is different. Always, always, always respect the storm. Hurricanes are formed over the ocean basins, over warm water. You get a lot of evaporation. When they start forming more vertically and, and get that cyclonic rotation to them, they get stronger. They have the, the capability of growing higher up in the atmosphere and uh, therefore becoming hurricanes. In that moment, when I go out to that plane, for me again, it's game on. And you have tornadoes, you have the excessive amount of rain, you have ice. Uh, lightning, we've been struck by lightning. Well, the information that we gather from the flight is provided from the instrument that I drop into the storm, which again is the drop sound. The type of data that we're able to gather from our flights is anything from time, location, temperature, dew point, wind direction, wind speed, pressures, heights, rain rates, surface wind speeds. The satellites will provide a good map picture. Let's say it's a map of the United States, whereas our data helps them develop a street map, if you will. When we fly an INVEST, which is an investigation into a potential storm, we fly 500 to 1,000 feet off the ocean surface. We fly all four quadrants of that storm. And what we're doing at that time is investigating to see where the winds are and if there's going to be a circular formation that forms. If there's that circular formation that forms, we know we have a storm. The stadium effect is the, the inside eye wall of a hurricane. Sure enough, it's calm inside, there's blue skies, and there's a stadium. And I'm like, no way, this is so cool. It's very rare to see, and you're inside what's a, uh, basically a football stadium made of clouds. What's special about the Hurricane Hunters being a reserve mission is that we get to keep the continuity and not have a turnover of personnel every three years like you may have on active duty. Reserve citizen airmen uh, provide a variety of different backgrounds um, from the civilian world. So in, for instance, my situation where I'm an airline pilot, um, our weather officers, a lot of them work in weather as forecasters, as meteorologists. The most gratifying aspect of my job is knowing that lives are being saved. There's really nothing we can do to stop it, but we can be there to collect the data so that they know where the storm is going next. If people can get out and evacuate and save lives, that's the most rewarding thing. 